Re 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 recap. Last week on the Fort Gulture, yes. The party was at the temple of... I wanted to say Agatha, but no, it's the lady. Ah, correct. So, we decided to go back to the cell where the... I want to say person, but it's not really a person. <laughs> the creature, ah, with the red scale, ah, uh, and, the, and the fireball, ah. We went, we went back like, to his cell. Yes, he was not there anymore. He? They? They. They were not there anymore. Okay. Don't, don't know whether they... It? But it's okay. They, they. We go in there. So we went there. <laughs> and then we searched the place. And then we found a rune. And then we oti baboom. We took a lot of damage. <laughs> yes. It was terrible. So we went back to the main hall to rest. Kaman went to search the bodies of the gargoyle that we killed and found some impan. So we took short rest. And then short rest. And then short rest. And then short rest. Ah, for all the other. Ah, yeah. And then uh, uh, Kaman encouraged and Bara encouraged the rest of the party to start to tell our secrets to Aina to help to make him stronger. And then Iesa told him, look, since now you are the one and only cleric, uh, it is time to build your religion, you know, to make it such that uh, people feel more formal when they do this thing. Cannot just say, I, Aina, I tell you secret. Not so cool. So we, together we came up with this idea. Uh, so Kaman said, you have first have to draw a part of his symbol. And maybe the triangle la, or the eye la, or the square. Never mind. One part can. And then after that, you say, Aina, keeper of secrets. This secret I entrust onto thee. Nobody remember yeah. this last week. Yeah. Anyway. This is the like, most fluid it's been said. Correct. The, the, on, the entrust onto thee is very important because that's the most formal part, I feel. Yeah. yeah. Anyway, yes. So <laughs> then after that, uh, Bara was attuning to her, his new uh, guitar. Very cool. <laughs> <laughs> then Bara cast a standing to Bob, and then he cast a scrying, and then he saw Bob, who was next to somebody very large, and was wearing skins or furs of some kind, which is very strange because this place is tropical, so wah, well, you know. <laughs> then Bob asked, where are you? His friend said he need to get bigger, and then maybe he can come and find us. He said he's in the woods north of the ancient city, and said that his friends is part of the ancient woods and he's very nice which is quite nice la. but at least he's with somebody who loves him you know ah, we hope ah, so after that Yesa decided to go back to the cell to see if she can find anything why am I talking about myself in the third person I? <laughs> so I blindfolded myself in case the grief will activate again so I found some chalk on the ground and then I decided to rub it out you know in case so after that I said okay Ken come up everybody and then Bara went up and realised that the chalk was actually a teleportation circle. Go where? Don't know, because I was too efficient in my rubbing out. <laughs> <laughs> Never mind. Lah, huh? Mistakes happen. <laughs> so, anyway, the party took a long rest. And then, uh, during the rest, Kaman on watch noticed that there was some commotion in the ruins where the dragon people are. Uh, but then we didn't go and kipo, we just let them deal with it. Next day, Bara went to ask Kaman, what is your secret? And then Kaman confessed that he might secretly be a bad person. Except he don't remember because he gave all his memories to Aina already. So, but yeah, he is concerned lah, that he might actually be a bad person. But the two of us don't know, lah, only the two of them know. So, after that, we flew back towards the mainland and then we met the Grand Sorcerer again. So, Bara asked him about the com commotion last night and then asked, can we help or not? The Grand Sorcerer was uh, very uh, pleased that we offered and that also very pleased that the temple got custodians again and said, maybe next time I'll call on you. But for now, the underwater is still off limits because you're too low level. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, Kaman tried to bring the dead scout back to life. And then, uh, the magic happened. And then, uh, the scout, uh, who was once human, and then after that got barbecue, came back as an egg. Then the egg uh, hatched into a turtle. Well, not a turtle, like a turtle person. They call it a turtle. Because very, you know, uh, creative imagination thing is good. Yes. So, the bottle. And then uh, Kaman said that, yeah, that's how his soul wanted to come back as. Which raised a lot of concerns because now I'm scared to die in case I also come back as bottle. <laughs> Quite scary. Yes. So, uh, the Grand Sorcerer talked to Bara and said, you know, you need to wash your back. You know, why do you hang out with this scion of Balda? And we were like, Simi is scion of Balda. <laughs> and then uh, Bara explained that Balda was a god 
of the sea or something like that. So we are also very confused. But he said, the grand sorcerer told her, uh, told him, uh, elves are fickle and untrustworthy, so you have to watch your back. Uh, which we don't believe lah, because Kaman is, you know, okay lah, not that bad lah. <laughs> really quite nice one. So we headed back to Twilight's end. Uh, Ilsa managed to stop uh, me. I managed to stop Bara from strumming the guitar <laughs> by reminding him, you know, there are a lot of things, you know, you are a parent now. You have to go and look for things. Don't don't anyhow this strum strum, okay? We can find somebody to, to, to tell you what it is. We went back to the sleeping horse. We rested for the day, for the night. Sunali wasn't there. Uh, apparently, she's away doing something with her old friend. Don't know what, don't know what. Then we went to the Amrita auction house the next morning. And then we met Amber. We gave her all the items. And then uh, Bara warned her about that creature that we took the items from. And then expressed their concern, his concern that, you know, what if these things go to the wrong people? They're very important things, no? So anyway, we got four enamel badges with the auction house symbol. They are green. And these have like a, like a you know, like a tap. And then got pay. <laughs> ah, very useful, you know, but quite, quite, quite cool. So after that, we went to, uh, we talked to her some more, and then Bara managed to get us access to the library because Amber needs us to help deliver a book to somebody named Tom Linson, who is a scholar and the master in charge of ceramics and pottery of the late Karambia period at the library. Wow, so, <laughs> so we went to the auction house, and a man named Agador helped us to identify some of our items. And during the identification, Agado mentioned this person called the Blood Queen. Apparently, she was a failed godling who wanted to become god and then fail. And want to become god and fail again. But anyway, she's in charge of the Daranese Empire, which was supposedly run by a council that reports directly to her. Then, uh, Bara remembered that the end of the Najwan stories all somehow revolve around a Daranese trying to become god and then got a tower, got torn asunder or something like that. And uh, she rem- he remembered a name called Pitya and uh, was also known as the Prime Magister. But how this all ties in, we're not sure yet. Lah. <laughs> but it's interesting to know. Mm. Anyway, uh, so finally, uh, Bara sent a sending to Sonali and found out, yeah, she will be back in three days. And that's where we are, shopping. Yeah! 